we hot right in today. Welcome everyone, Transporter here, and we are now live with the all new Need for Speed update. Hold on, I just got a message from Driver. Let's check it out. Bro, great news. We got this sweet deal going with a storage firm. We can now stow away cars we don't use. No need to sell them. Check it out in the garage. Ah, yeah, that's another one of the things. Now I can store more cars in my garage thing. See, look at that. Move to warehouse. Swap from warehouse. Look at that. You can now have 10 cars in your garage now. You know there's 5 spots here. But, we are not here for that today. Today we are here for hot rods. And we have two of them. Let's see, this is the first one. The 32 Ford. Not very powerful. Only got like 91 horsepower. Even though it's like a small block V8 and everything. But that can all change which is customized and everything. But we're not going to do that one for now. Because now we have another really, really expensive, there it is, expensive car in this game. It is this bad boy. It revs to 10,000 RPMs. The Beck Customs F132. Now, the thing about this car, um, it's not necessarily real. Even though it costs so much, it's not necessarily real. Because the guy who, um, modeled the car, the guy who modeled the car, um, he just modeled it. He didn't really do... Really put it into make it like a reality or anything. Um, it's still pretty much like a photoshopped. Uh, yeah, still like still photoshopped work there. But as you can see, it's pretty much they put it much put on a hot rod body onto Formula One chassis. So it still gets lots of downforce. And instead of a V10 or a twin cam V8, they put like a fully fledged NASCAR V8 in here. So. <laughs> but this is pretty much the sickest looking thing I've ever seen. Uh, you can't customize it performance wise, so you can't really do anything like that. But you can. You can do some own body kits. You can customize the windows. Well, that's being here. That's not going to do me any good. Bing get low. Oh, cannot adjust. Nope. Can I adjust? No, I cannot. I cannot adjust to track with. I can tamper with Camber, but front Camber like that is kind of weird. If I can't customize rear Camber, so not really much point. You can change the rims into a race wheel or the back custom forge wheel. This is race wheel. We have the back custom slicks. We have the regular ghost game slicks, and we have semi slicks, rain, pretty much. All those custom tires you expect in a Formula 1 car. I'll keep those on though. No diffusers, no tail lights. Spoiler. No spoiler! Oh wait. There's a double deck, there's a single deck. Double deck, single deck. Double deck, single deck. You could. That off would probably increase the. increase top speed. We'll leave that on for now. But that's pretty much it. You can't really do anything else. Which is I don't really, I don't really mind it. Uh, wait 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 wait. See that's close, but I'll give it to them. But that's close. I don't even know if that's really works with it. Uh, you know what? I'm a Merc fan, so yeah. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll put that on for now. You know what's new? Smells of burnt rubber and is really really hot. Drag racing. We're all doing it. You should try as well. It's the bomb. Righto. That's what I've actually come here for. All right, this thing with 800 so horsepower, and they want it to be better than the uh, the Porsche 911 Carrera RSR when tuned to the max. Oh, you can't drift with it. Look at that. Look at that, that's the... Oh, so stable. Look at that! I don't know if I can... Yeah. This is more of a grip machine than a drift machine, as like my previous build, so... Don't be afraid to get all grippy with it. Ow! I like that there's, there's a grip, there's a... Gear counter there now because it wasn't, it was really confusing to see what, what gear, man. Because I'm always thinking, whenever I'm driving my Porsche 911 Carrera RSR, 
I always feel like it's skipping gear or it's like skipping like skipping on the RPM, so I don't know if it's actually gear changing. So that helps now that I know what gear I am. That's good. But to be frank, it should have added that since the beginning. But that's just my opinion. This thing revs so high. Ow. This is something I might not be used to, but I guess... Oh! At least it still drifts though. At least it still drifts, I will say that. So I can still pull something gnarly. But in terms of actual driving, though, I don't know if it will beat the Porsche, because the Porsche can... Not yet! The Porsche can drift corner at 230 miles an hour. This early max is at 216. Ah, see now. Alright. See, 222. And there's no point in... I like that there's this grip there. This is how this car should handle. I don't really think it can beat the Porsche though. Is it probably here? Here, I just jumped around here. Oh, see, that's not bad. That's not bad. Alright. So, it has pretty good handling, I suspected. But, it doesn't have that drifty ability that I have. Um, with most of my cars that I tune, like the uh, ah, no, I'm not ready for you. Like my Porsche or most of the cars that you see me um, comparing in this uh, game. But if anything, I'm glad that this thing actually handles pretty well. So that's good. That's good news. Anyway. We've come here to drag race. All right, so now we have drag racing, and this is good because now we can do some full grip tunes for some actual leverage and put some actual performance into the game. So I will do that later on, but for now, let's test out see if this is actually a good drag racing thing. You know, it is Formula One car. Let's see what we can do. Alright. Missed it. I missed it. So this is it like Pro Street or most wanted where the car automatic controls when you're in the lane or something like that. I'll take it though. But I missed that perfect shift. Now we got to find what car is perfect for drag racing? This is probably pretty much where your GTRs, R35s, and your Supras will come in. Especially Supra, so I think it's pretty much a drag champ. Or your Vipers, even. So let's try another one. I see now I'm up against an RWB993. I don't know if I do it. 
Ah! Did it again! Did it again! Twenty-five. Ow. No. I can do better than that. I think this is where all wheel drive plays an ideal part here. All right. Now we're drifting on the streets. Overcook that. Oh, that's the manual shifting there. Only six gears. This thing has so much grip though, that's brilliant. Alright, let's see. There though. I guess that's okay. I didn't even respond. This is fun. Oh, there he is. I'm already going on to there. So, there's a lot more freedom in drag racing in this than in the uh, previous Need for Speed games. But it's not like World where you have to nitrous up and down, it's just basic ideal sh uh, gear shifting there. I think I have an idea now of how to get a perfect uh, burnout. I thought I had to reach to the ends, but I guess I have to get to the middle before it reaches the ends. And before it reaches the ends, There we go. Where which is the ends? Egg definitely shifted way too early. This is ideal though. You'll need that grip. And that just is important here too. Get a really, really fast time. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm loving this. This thing one is amazing. I've already <laughs> me by only a couple of seconds oh well whenever you want to just change the gearbox you can just now go to settings and just set it automatically they say automatic only for all cars or per car um you can also set it in the um uh adjustment uh, handling settings but you can't do it with this car because you can't retune it so there you go 
But before we end this video, we must do some actual, actual grip racing because this is a grip car. Let's see what we can find here. All right, let's get it with it. So we've established that this thing can drift around corners. It can, but uh, it's mostly grip. So how it can I beat? The time I set here in my Porsche 911 Carrera S, I Carrera RSR. I don't think so. But this thing has grip for days. Oh, move your Porsche! See, it does have grip there. Oh! So you have to really, you have to really smash the brake button in order to get it drift. Usually, I just tap it or lightly press it to get right back wheel was spinning though. But that's cool. But I don't think it, it can beat the uh, the 911. And you have to be pretty gentle with it here, which is good. Oh, see, smash the brake, smash the brake, but that's quick. I don't think it can beat the 911 at Legends Wheels, so no, sir. Ah! Oh, it's still manageable, though. It can still drift. It can still drift if you wanted to, but it's just a mixture of grip and drift, which makes it phenomenal. Oh, look at this! <laughs> I don't think it could be the Porsche, but it's definitely more fun. Definitely lacking in just power, though. Porsche had lots more Nitrous power than this. 144, is that a new record? I don't think so. No. I was definitely faster in my Porsche. So if you're looking for this to be the fastest car in the game, it is not. Although light and with a big engine, drift and nitrous power are the only things lacking here and I'll put it to the test at Legends Wheels later today. So look for that video later today. But as for now, this is so much fun. So I got the comparison of this and the Porsche later today and I also have that Ford, that custom Ford 32, 1932 which I got a drag racing as well but this is certainly a wild win this also proves that NFS are capable of adding new cars to this game which is very very good so get to adding Lexuses hope you guys enjoyed this video rate comment and subscribe and I will see you next time